The main German bomber of Watu. Ah, that's a ticket back to the early to mid 20th century engineering marvels, and of course their dark use in war. The Luftwaffe, the aerial warfare branch of the Wehrmacht, boasted several bombers, but if we're talking about the backbone of their long-range bombing efforts, then you're looking at the Heinkel He 111. Initially designed under the guise of being a civil airliner during the days when Germany was still under restrictions imposed by the Treaty of Versailles, the He 111 quickly shed any pretense of innocence once those constraints were lifted. It flew speedily into the role of a medium bomber. It had its debut in combat during the Spanish Civil War, where it was able to strut its stuff under combat conditions. This gave the Luftwaffe invaluable experience and feedback, leading to improvements. By the time World War II commenced, the He-111 was already a mature platform, ready to rain destruction. Throughout the war, it was used extensively in all theaters where Germany was engaged. It's most iconic for its role in the Battle of Britain, where its distinctive greenhouse-like, fully-glazed nose became a symbol of the enemy in the skies for the British people. While it wasn't the fastest, the sturdiest, or even the plane with the largest payload, its versatility and reliability made it a staple. But even a workhorse like the He-111 had its limitations. Its defensive armament was relatively weak, and as the Allies' air capabilities advanced, the He-111 became increasingly vulnerable. The lack of speed and protection began to outweigh its serviceability. As the war dragged on, and with the advent of more capable Allied fighters, the He-111 squads found themselves prey rather than predator. This led to the development and deployment of other bombers like the Junkers Ju-88, which, despite its jack-of-all-trades nature, couldn't quite replace the He-111 in terms of numbers or the impact it had had earlier in the war. Here in Portland, Oregon, we are quite a ways removed from the battlegrounds and skies where the He-111 made its mark. Yet, remembrance is significant, just like the quiet reflection we have when looking at the vast and peaceful Oregon landscapes. We think about history, the lessons it offers, and the hope that such machines will never again be needed for such grim tasks.